In this video, I'm going to discuss two basic things to make your Arduino code better. The first C is about code block. We are actually interested on the indentation style that you are using in your code. These are the two very popular indentation style. The first one is called KNR and the second one is called Allman. The primary difference between the two is where the parentheses are placed. In KNR, the open curly bracket is in line with the conditional statement, while in Allman, it's actually not. I personally use Allman style on my code because I find it more better in terms of reading. To check other styles of indentation, you can check this Wikipedia link. The major advantage of having proper indentation or having a unique style is having a, a code that is easier to read. Because your code is easy to read, it will also result for a code that is easy to debug. If you open up the example or if you open up an Arduino sketch, you will see that the Arduino is using a KNR by default. When you start to write your Arduino code, try to hit the, the shortcut Control T, Control plus T. This will automatically format your Arduino code. Check it out. The second C is for comments. Comments self-document your source code. This is very helpful once you start tracking or understanding your code. Comments also help other users of your code. And lastly, a well-commented code makes your code understandable in the future. Imagine if you have a code that you wrote 10 years ago and has no comments. That will be pain in that will be painful. This is a well-written comment and you can check the source code here on the GitHub link. This is the source code of the Fermata library of Arduino. Check how the comments are written here. This is really helpful on the developers and on the other users of this library. During the development, they probably see noise on the pins that are not connected. That's why they, Im they implement this part of the code. Without this comment, that will be hard to understand why this code is here. Same with this comment, you will see that the, the original author of the code is trying to give some tips on the user. This is a meme that I found on the internet. 90% of all com code comments are like this. That's a cat and then you put a label cat which is already known. It's like this. I change the default comments on void setup and void loop. Just imagine that you have a function called void setup and you comment it like for setup things. It doesn't really make any sense because we all know that because that is setup. Down the loop, if you will just put loop will run repeatedly, that also doesn't make sense because you already know that it is a loop. As a final tip, comments should be relevant. Comments shouldn't be also not too obvious, just like the example here below. And last but not the least, comments should add value to the reader. This should be really valuable, just like the example that we have on the previous slide. Like this. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. And please don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel. Thank you.